Today, I will be talking about back compression. Back compression. For your engine to operate maximally, the compression must remain right in your combustion chamber. That is, your piston rings must seal the compression and prevent it from going down right to your the to your song, which is called back pressure. Although there are many misconceptions about back pressure, back pressure simply means that compression is going downward right into your um, crankcase. That is back pressure. Now, what is the solution to it? You should know that the solution to it is that you must have a total overhauling. That is the simple solution to it. You must have a total overhauling of the engine. But sometimes the total overhauling may be too expensive for you to afford. So what can you do? That means you must change these three things. Your piston rings, your piston, and your cylinder liner. Yes, you must change these three things. And if you check very well sometimes, your cylinder liner may still be good, then you have to change only your piston rings and your piston. You should know that the problem is within these three um, components because they are responsible for the sealing of the compression. They prevent it from going downward into your um, sump. And when your uh, compression is going down into your sump, that means you are going to have low compression. Yes, the engine may be running, but you are going to have low compression because some of the compression needed for the engine to run smoothly and maximally is leaking downward into the crankcase. So, the best is for you to have um, a complete overhaul. So, but how can you know if you are having this kind of problem, let me tell you three simple ways in which you can know. You can ch check your PCV valve. If you notice smokes coming from your PCV valve, then you should know that you are having back compression. If your PCV valve is leaking, then you know that you are having such a problem. Another one is that Open the valve cover on the uh, cylinder cover. Just open it and see what is happening there. If you notice that vapor, something like smoke is coming out from there, or as if it's having a kind of um, um, steam coming out from there, like pressure, and it has a kind of pressure, you can feel it with your hand as if compression is coming out from there. Then that is another simple method in which you can know that you are having um, back compression. Another simple method is you check your, your um, deep stick. Just remove your deep stick and check what is coming out from there. Because in, you remember that it's called back compression. That means this, um, the, um, the compression is going back into the crankcase. Then you will notice that something will be coming out from your deep stick, like pressure, like compression will come out from me. I to have a kind of pressure. Sometimes it comes with oil, sometimes it can come like vapor or smoke coming out from there. That is to tell you that you are having what is called back compression. So the simple thing you can do is just overhaul the engine and you rest. So although some misunderstood back compression, they think that sometimes when you have um, or um, smoke coming out behind your cylinder, behind the cylinder. That is not back compression. Back compression is just another name for blow by pressure, um, blow by smokes. Yes, almost the same thing. It's not the same thing as um, blow by smoke, but some refer to it as back compression simply because the compression is going back, back into you know the piston bring it forward. Yeah, they bring it, bring it forward and it um, compresses it with the cylinder and it compresses it. So when it's going by, leaking downward, it's referred to as back compression. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for listening to me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. 
like subscribe and share the video see you in my next video thank you for watching bye